Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today I am taking this Russian blue from OPI and I am going to add some top coat to this because I want to make it a little bit thinner, a little bit more see-through, but I'm gonna be honest with you, I think I just end up pulling from the jar sometimes because it was not strong enough. So I am taking this red and this is from Young Nails and we are going to do a full coat over these practice tips. All right, taking this Westonia and I'm using the long version and I got this off Amazon, I can link it below. And I am dragging this down. I am doing the same blue pattern on all of them, but the gold I come in and I do a little bit different. So if you had a more square brush, like a longer square brush, this would probably be great. Um, I didn't have any issues with this brush. As you can see, I kind of, really bend it because I want that straight line. So I just go ahead and do that all the way down and then I give it a cure. All right, finishing up the pinky here, and then we are going to give this a full cure. And then we are taking that blue to go across. Again, we will do pretty much the same pattern across on all of the nails because I am doing the gold differently, not necessarily the blue. And you can see I am putting pressure onto the brush. So when I drag the color over, I'm able to really get a straight line. Um, I'm a little bit of a perfectionist and also not very good at doing straight lines. So you can see I um, have a lot of lines that I press because I want it to be straight and I just really want it to look good and even and really um, crisp. That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> Thank you. 
taking the gold buttercream and I am doing different things with it. This one is straight lines down and then through the side as well. And then the middle ones, I kind of come in with a uh, a little bit of a dragged line, like a dotted line, but like a little bit of an angle. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let you guys watch this because it's pretty self-explanatory. Right, coming in with a matte top coat and my tip to make your top coat super smooth is do one layer top coat buff or file very lightly like the super fine side i usually just buff and then i come in with a second top coat i don't do this here but that is a nice easy way to get a smoother finish for your top like if you see your line of light is kind of wonky So here it is in shiny and then I'm so happy I went with matte, but I still wanted to show you what it was like shiny. So thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.